Hello friends, welcome back to Mule S Academy. In today's session, we are going to talk about the you know uh, the runtime fabric self-managed Kubernetes setup. Okay, so we'll talk about what we need before installing uh, you know RTF on any Kubernetes. Okay, so the you know you can see on my screen. So there is a laptop which is your your machine. Okay. There is a cloud provider. It can be your EKS, AKS, GT, or anything. Okay. Now these two guys are there. Okay. So on cloud provider, so whoever it is, right? Let's let's select for our session. We'll select uh, you know AWS. Okay. Uh, Amazon cloud provider, and we have laptop. Okay. Now on this cloud, there has to be a Kubernetes cluster, and that information somehow has to be communicated to the laptop or your machine so that your rtf from your laptop you can you can install on that kubernetes cluster okay so before moving on to the session i will encourage everyone to please subscribe the channel share with your friends hit the like button uh, you know hit the bell icon so that you will get notification to you know uh, future upcoming videos okay yeah so let's move on with the with the setup so when you you when you are planning to you know have a setup which is rtf on self managed kubernetes so you need to buy the kubernetes cluster and build it okay so let's take the example we'll we'll decide cloud provider now is our amazon so when we say we when we select amazon we'll be selecting eks okay so once this is done okay so now We'll be building a Kubernetes cluster. So let me drag a so we will so we'll draw a cluster over here, and then we'll see what all information we need. Okay, so this will be our so we'll say this will be our this will be our EKS cluster. Now, when we build EKS cluster, there will be a file created called cube config. Okay, so there will be a file called cube config, and this file will be having all the information about our Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so who is our provider? Okay, and uh, you know, it will tell you who is the client, you know, a cloud provider. Okay region okay in which region our kubernetes is there so for example let's say i'm taking you know us hyphen is hyphen one okay so this is my region okay in this region you will get a kubernetes cluster okay this is one thing so this file is very very important cube, cube config file now let me draw a little so So in our Kubernetes cluster, there will be a worker nodes, there will be a controller nodes. Controller nodes, we don't have access. We won't be having access to the controller nodes, okay? But there will be a controller node. So there can be three controller nodes, five controller nodes based on your client, okay? So whoever is providing your Kubernetes, this, this will be your controller node. So we'll say C and one, this will be your C and two, this will be a C and three. Okay. And similar way, we'll be having worker nodes. So we'll be having access to the worker node only. Okay. So let me, this will be my W1. We'll copy the same thing. Let's put here. We'll go to menu. Put this here. Okay. And these guys will be communicating with. So I'll just uh, draw a line. So this guy will communicate to this. This guy will communicate to this. This guy will communicate to this. Similar way, all other three guys will be. I just draw a line with this down. Okay, for this guy also. And I will just draw a line between these two guys. Here. Okay. Okay. 
this will be our kubernetes cluster which is provided by you know amazon cloud and we call it eks okay now once this is ready okay so definitely we if you want to access any cloud you need a credentials okay so those credentials will be getting it from so just go ahead and you'll be getting here user from here and the key this user and key will be using so that is a bit up okay so this is the setup we need from from your cloud provider so whenever you are configuring any kubernetes so this will be the setup okay so we are going with the minimum setup where three controller nodes and three worker nodes now what all you need on your laptop okay so let's go ahead and see now what all we need so we first of all we need a utility called we need a utility called uh, our cube uh, ctl and what this utility does this utility you know uh, it, it manages your kubernetes okay so i so directly it won't be able to communicate with your cloud provider so we'll see what all we need but let's talk about what tools or utility we need second utility we need is rtf ctl okay so this utility will manage rtf okay then when we are communicating from laptop to the cloud okay so we need we requires as i said right some amazon user and key okay so we need amazon user key and So these things will be needed to communicate. But who will be authenticating my laptop, or whenever I am trying to connect via these utilities? Okay, so I have QCTL, I have RTF CTL. What software will be authenticating my laptop or these utilities when we are communicating to these guys? We are not going to SSS to any worker node. We'll be connecting to this, uh, you know, our Kubernetes cluster. Okay, only. so then we need a, a software or tool called we need a software or tool called aws ifan i am ifan authenticator okay so this tool will be used to authenticate with and it's on aws okay or in nutshell while communicating from our laptop to the kubernetes cluster this will always authenticate our our you know utilities or our laptop with this kubernetes cluster okay so this is the minimum setup we need to install our you know uh, yeah i i forgot to add one more thing here so with this credentials we need a you which is very important you config you config file if you don't have this file okay so what what all will be there in the you config file who is your uh, you know uh, cloud provider in which region your kubernetes is there how many control nodes are there how many worker nodes are there okay which region all this information will be there in the cube config file okay so that cube config file plus the credentials of the amazon aws and this utility is required to authenticate and to tell the exact information about or location about the you know the kubernetes okay so yeah that's all from this session and hope you got the clarity okay now once this setup is done what we can do we can go to our any point platform download the metadata from there for rtf and then we can we can install our rtf on this kubernetes cluster okay so in the next session we talk about the architecture of this uh, self managed kubernetes 
uh, you know rtf uh, in detail okay so hope you like this session okay uh, please let me know your feedback in the comment section below thanks for watching bye bye take care